Banny game, thank you. It Ari. is, we are. I am in the server at the moment, and uh, yeah, Banny is the medic on one of the teams. I don't recognize many of the names apart from him, of course, because these are players that are new to competitive, but I, uh, I will be looking forward to watching this. We are finally going to get started, ladies and gentlemen, with some, with some real action. I'm, I'm scared. I've almost forgotten how to cast. <laughs> We've just been waffling for so long. Uh, I just want to remember the name of the other team. Oh yeah, here for beer. It's going to be here for beer versus the idiotic cookie gamers of which uh, Banny is of course the buddy, the carry buddy perhaps. Or are we going to see him just crash and burn early in the tournament? That would you know, really appeal to my wicket side, Sideshow. After he uh, ruined Euro Dreams at the recent, well, not so recent, <laughs> six months ago, A52 line or whatever the hell it was. It's too soon. Months. It's too soon. It's, uh, the, the wounds are still fresh. This is, uh, you know, Grant, Banny, Vincent, the most professional well, of the TF2 players. If there is such a thing as a professional TF2 player, Banny is that. He is the, the quintessential competitor. He's probably the most decorated uh, champion in the world, won many ESEA lands. Uh, he came over to Europe and crushed the competition with 4G Fruyo Tech, and now he's here to raise up idiotic cookie gamers to the high heights that will be first place in the first TF2 Center Archimedes Cup. It's going to be round one here of the group stage. Is Badlands, but I know here for beer, they're uh, here to cause an upset. There will be trouble. There definitely will be. Um, I really hope that they can put up uh, put up a serious fight against Bunny and his team here, and we uh, and we don't see and we don't see a bit of an anticlimax. But I'm sure that we won't. the uh, The teams should be fairly similarly matched. I'm not sure exactly where the opposing team has come from here for beer, what community or or where they hail from, really. But uh, I have full faith in them. I can give actually because uh, I know that other game hasn't started yet, the Banny game, but the uh, the Scrap Me Harder game still has twenty seven minutes left to play, and it's happening right now. We could watch that. How did that make? How would that make you feel? We're spoiled for choice. Or will we wait? We'll ask the Twitch chat here. You know, has anybody got an opinion? Do you want to see an actual game that you didn't vote for, or would you like to wait a few minutes? and uh, see Banny's game and there's something weird going on here in STV like I'm Saichu are you, are you getting this as well like you can't uh, change outrageous. into the free cam yeah it's We're really strange something uh, mode is that what you have to do something very strange that's been going on with these STVs I didn't think that we'd run into technical difficulties we, we cast cast uh, tons and tons of games throughout the season and I have never run into this problem before. I, I'm just getting randomly taken from one person's pov to another. I think it's called auto-spec and uh, I've seen commands related to it in previous uh, in, in configs, but I have no idea how to get out of it. People are saying uh, wait for Banny. They don't want to see... Oh, the Twitch chat is mixed, you know, I'm seeing some people saying they want to wait for the game they voted for, it's the Banny fans. Uh, I'm on the other server, are you still on the Banny server, Saichu? I am. What's the status of that game, are they still waiting for someone? Yeah, they're still waiting for one player, um, I imagine he'll be joining fairly shortly. I can give you a, a live score update here from the Scrap Me game. They're actually two rounds down at the minute, so it looks like Jill won't be faced with an awkward situation where he has to pay off his own friends. Although it is only uh, the first game of the group stage, they still could come through with two rounds or even win this map. But uh, presently, it's not looking good for them. They found themselves in a hole. They need to climb out. But people want to see Banny, you know, they're not interested in Scrap Me Harder. That's cool, whatever. The people from here for beer are saying he's coming. They apologize to uh, to the North Americans for the delay. The the pings actually are going to play a, a serious role, I think, in this match if we if we do end up specking here for beer against idiotic cookie gamers because the pings 
uh, are pretty impressive. We've got uh, 200 ping, 140, 113. This is, uh, this is nothing to sniff at here. The idiotic cookie gamers are really going to have to have a really good a really good show if they want to overcome the ping disadvantage that they've got going on here. I have been told by Ari as well that uh, he might have been able to remedy our problem of uh, not having the free cam on STV, but it could take... Oh, it is working, actually. Check it. Rejoin the server or something. I'm able to fly around now. Ari fixed it. Thank oh. you, Beast Ari. Beast Ari. He is just the, the saviour of TF2. He's the guy who does everything behind the scenes and just... Oh, goodness me. I'm free. I'm free. I'm no longer shackled to some auto director. I'm not sure really what was going on there. Some setting with the server, I imagine, but we are now free to cast... Yeah, those pings are horrendous, I see it now, but that is definitely going to handicap the mighty Banny. I'm going to give you a little roster rundown here because I just see all these players in their respective classes. Uh, we're going to have Cheddar Biscuit playing Scout along with Weasel. And on Soldier, we're going to have Ventus and Ducky. I wonder, can I figure out who is going to pocket and who Ventus is wearing the gunboats, that, that would make me think that he is going to be the rumor because Ducky is not. So there we have the rules established as well. Of course, Banny's playing Medic, but uh, playing the class that he's probably the best known for, Demo Man, is going to be Codex. Uh, I wonder will he be getting a, a lot of coaching in game from Banny? Saichu, what can you tell me about our blue team? Well, I, I've just done the same trick of identifying the pocket and the roamer. So uh, on pocket, we have Wild Kentucky Nugget. And on Roaming Soldier, we have Mr. Slim Shady himself. Uh, then the scouts are going to be Ymir, Four, and Fades, with uh, the Medic and Demo Men being taken up by Roman and Captain Lollipop. So they're the guys representing Europe in this intercontinental struggle that we're going to be witnessing here on Badlands. Um, it does look like everyone's in the server. We should be heading off fairly shortly and we're all set up. The teams are all set up. Um, <laughs> I'm just reading the, the in-game chat. It seems like here for beer, just, uh, just pulling the leg of the Americans there a little bit, asking if there's a taunt that just says we give up. Those guys are just here for fun. They they see the name Banny and they just think they're going to get destroyed. But of course, the team should be fairly level. None of these players, apart from Banny, who is just going to be on Medic, uh, should have any competitive experience to speak of. Um, it applies exactly the same to the American, Brazilian, Argentinian, United Arab, Arab Emirates teams. Everybody who's playing in this Archimedes Cup has been uh, very... Uh, he'll just gone through them with a fine tooth comb and picked out anybody who's got competitive experience above Div Six, um, uh, above one season in Div Six as well, or the um, the corresponding skill level in their scene. So, you know that applies to uh, to UGC or something like that in America, or the lowest level of UGC. Sorry for only a season. So we're really aiming this cup towards people who are completely new to competitive, who've only really played in TF2 Center mm -hmm. or possibly haven't even done that at all. I must apologize as well that uh, we're not going to have our usual live stats shenanigans. So uh, a few of our stream features will be missing for this first round. And I won't be able to look into the future and see what's going to happen. But uh, I am pleased to say that we have a game on our hands here. It's almost going to get underwear, underway between the ear for beer and the uh, idiotic cookie gamers featuring Banny. Got to stop mentioning that guy. It's not about him. It's about these new players, right? It really is. I'm. I've got my eyes on uh, on the the soldier combo from here for beer. I reckon Mr. Slim Shady and Wild Kentucky Nugget are going to bring the smack down. Wild Kentucky Nugget has just got the kind of name that's going to antagonize these uh, these Yanks who don't really need, they don't know how to respond when there's a guy with KFC on the other team. They what the guy from Wild Kentucky Nugget and he only has eight ping. What's going on here? But. He uh, he lives in the server room that this server's being hosted on, apparently. Yeah, that is uh, quite the the chasm there, the huge gaping difference in pings. And pings uh, are 
often all important here. I suppose if you think about those NA versus EU show matches, people will just say that if you have the ping advantage, you're automatically going to win. But I'm not sure if it's going to play that this way. Can Banny overcome the ping differential? Will his uh, superior game knowledge be enough to guide his team of Oog Idiotic Cookie Gamers 3? We've gone live here, so we've just joined us on Team 4's TV. Over an hour late, this is round one of the first TF2 Center Archimedes Cup sponsored by Scrap TF. I'm Admirable Saito is with me. We've got Suyo on the stream and the action is getting underway on middle. Saito, tell me what's going down. It absolutely is. Lollipop arrived to mid. That's the demo man from here for beer. He arrived a little bit slow and he was a little weak and it does look like Idiotic Cookie Gamers are getting a better position on the mid. Everybody from that blue team kind of stuck in house but they're going to rotate round to the resup area and uh, just try and keep Roman, their medic, alive. As long as he keeps that uber charge up, as long as he keeps healing people and keeps backing off, they're in a perfect position to defend last. Uh, they may have to give up Spire here just because idiotic cookie gamers are streaming forward as fast as they can, but Ymir, the scout from the blue team here for beer, really doesn't want to give it up that easily. He just gets a cheeky little shot on Cheddar Biscuits and, uh, oh, Captain Lollipop's very, uh, very far away from his team right now. It'll be Interesting to see whether he makes it out of this alive. He's not going to. That Demoman pick there for the red team, Idiotic Cookie Gamers, is going to help them out a lot when they're pushing last. The Demoman, so essential for holding last because you need those stickies on the point. Badlands last caps incredibly quickly, and without the stickies on the point, it's very easy just to throw the players from the red team here, from the attacking team, onto that point and just cap it off before they can react. Oh, this is dangerous. Look at the push out here from the blue team. There are actually two players down. They're going to try and push forward. The point is wide open here because Captain Lollipop, the demo man, has just respawned. He doesn't have any stickies on the point. They're going to throw Weasel the scout on there, but look at this! Oh my word, idiotic cookie, cookie gamers are hemorrhaging players. Somehow the blue team make it back just in the nick of time. They've stood on the point. It was nipple hairs away from being capped. And they have all but wiped their opposition there. And they know it's time to push. They've just weathered the storm. And they're going to move out here quickly. There is the danger of a back cap if one of the red players manages to slip uh, in between these blue players who are trying to push out from their own last. They could lose the round, but have hesitated here, they need to cap that spire point, this has to be their main focus right now. Kentucky but Nuggets coming in behind, <laughs> he's trying to get onto Banny, he does, he actually absolutely destroys him. Banny unable to dodge that one, and he does go down, that was a brilliant play from the roaming soldier um, there from here for beer. Banny's down, that means that the heels are Taylor so Biscuits. important for Roman. Taylor Biscuits is through onto last, he's just run straight down main, but gets denied, both scouts come back again just in the nick of time they've denied that cap you may get in credit shutting down at cheddar biscuits and uh this attempted push out from last to second is still live ventus is playing around there at what we call the trash area it's just been uh, cleaned up again by Ymir who finds another frag but uh it's it's taken so long here this engagement that in fact vanny oh what he goes down to a sticky trap that was on the front door. That's a really nice play there by Captain Lollipop. Roman has his uber charge now. So it's a huge advantage for the blue team. They should be able to move forward here. Weasel Smack's trying to go for last. He's going to take the 1v1 against Fades. He's on 84 health. He does actually manage to do it. So Weasel Smack is going to take the first round for his team. And that was a really scrappy engagement. We saw uh, here for Beer struggling a little bit to push out onto Spire. It's really difficult if you're not... Um, if you, if you haven't practiced it quite a lot, but we'll see the teams attempt it again and again and they will be able to practice it. And it's looking like a very close game as well. So we are live with our second middle, a valley rollout from the red team here as they all come in from this direction. Whereas the Europeans are coming through house. And Mr. Shady jumping up in the air. He's knocked Banny down. Banny does a fall damage, so that's a med down for the red team. Roman is doing so well staying alive in these med fights. He needs to heal up his soldiers. And I don't know whether they're going to try and push back in here or whether they're just going to give up. Um, Mr. Shady does get a pick there onto the opposing soldier from the other team. But we've got a flanker from Weasel Smack, possibly. No, the red team just content to hold mid here, Admirable. Yeah, I was not paying attention there whatsoever because Ari has uh, graciously set us up with the live stats. So. That'll give us uh, Based, a Ari. bit more analysis Mr. Here, Shady's but... in. Mr. Shady's miles in. They've got their Uber charged. Can he be saved? Roman's finding it difficult to get in through the choke point. Cheddar Biscuits has really slowed them down. 
but Mr. Shady doing such a good job of just staying alive underneath there. And now the Uber is going to come in from Roman. Oh, unfortunately, he doesn't manage to pop it off and does drop that Uber charge. But it does look like the man advantage, as you said, Admirable, right at the beginning, is coming in far more importantly than the Uber situation. With five players alive, the blue team are able to take the midpoint. And even though they don't have the heals, they're only contending against a few players from the red team. So they're able to go a little, a little further forwards. I'm just worried that they're going a little bit too far forwards here. But they're trying to get onto the Medic from the red team and seeing if they can make anything happen. Oh, Banny gets a frag onto the pocket there from the blue team as uh, as they flood in through the choke point. Are they going to be able to get anything done? Or they might just end up holding around this position. A big uber advantage here in favour of the red team. Idiotic cookie gamers, they use their uber through the choke. Admirable, can they get anything done? Oh, they're going to be able to kill off Demoman and Medic. That's Ruman and Captain Lollipop. Or, sorry, Demoman just respawns, but Ymir's gone down there. So it's actually turned into a four on four fight here. Here for Beer, having to sacrifice their uh, hold on that midpoint. They backed out. They're trying to regroup here. Captain Lollipop got that forward spawn. He's walking into middle. He's trying to contest both scouts here. Lands a big bike onto Cheddar Biscuits, but can't kill off either of them. And now uh, that's going to make it difficult for his team here for Beer to control this Spire. Because whenever your demo man's up, he's the one class that can uh, deny the Spire without actually being on it. Because he can just spam those stickies up and they, they do significant damage on that sort of compact area. But Bani is bringing both his scouts up the Spire. They've climbed up that Spiral. Uh, but the scouts are rushing forward for frags. They didn't realise that Bani is unprotected, but Bani doesn't need protection. Whoops, sorry, the Uber saw. Gets the frag onto Fades NL and uh, having taken control of that Spire, they're now ready to go to last. They've got a full Uber charge in the tank here. This is going to require effort of Herculean proportions from here for Beer. They've got the respawns in. That's what they need. They need numbers to try and hold on to this. It's going to be five versus six though as Cheddar Biscuits gets back on the field for the idiotic Cookie Gamers. They're already Ubering in onto last here. They're looking for key frags here such as the Demo Man. Uh, to sort of remove that sticky threat, but Captain Lollipop has got great protection here. There's just so many bodies between him and his opposition. He's managed to stay alive. He's trying to clean up Ducky, who's up top here, raining down rockets. He's trying to communicate to his team as well, but <laughs> well, Kentucky Nugget just seems to have taken his eye off the ball for a second there. Point is open. Barney's coming in. He steps off. He steps off long enough. Oh, Barney almost That was goes very huge. close. This ragdoll couldn't cut, say you. Now, while Kentucky Nugget has got the lockdown on this point, as I called the soldiers from here for beer, going absolutely huge here. Uh, they've made some great plays so far, and I'm sure that we're going to see quite a few more. Captain Lollipop setting up an interesting sticky trap in main there. That's uh, a very common route for the attacking team to push down, so there's a good chance that you might catch somebody with that. Uh, Ventos, which is the soldier, is now on the balcony going into upper lobby. He's going to find a scout, Ymir, but they're just going to trade a few shots before backing off. The, the teams here are just trying to feel out what the uh, where everybody stood, what the defense is, whether it's safe to go into lobby. It, they seems like it is, and they're going to try and get a pick on that right-hand side. Mr. Shady does go down, but that's perfectly fine. They can still hold with five players as long as they don't bleed too many more. Uh, they're holding all on this low ground. Uh, I would advise them to get a bit of height advantage, but they seem to be defending the point well so far, so what do I know? It's going fairly well for them. They have pushed in through this top left route. Bunny doesn't quite have his Uber yet, so they're going to be pushing in without it. They lose three players already, and again, this defense coming out of here for beer, just stomping them. But I think that might have just been a three-man suicide to try and get the force out of them. They get the Uber charge out of Roman, so he now has only 18%. But Banny managed to stay alive, so he still has his Uber charge. That means they can just wait for the respawns, get everybody back into the same positions, and now they can push with an Uber advantage. Yeah, I have to say that was a great Uber there by Ruman as well. Like he was surrounded by his own team, they were very weak, and he managed to pop off and keep five of them alive. Whilst uh, they were able to find those frags as well onto the idiotic Cookie Gamers in red. Uh, it's one 0 currently to those guys to Banny's team. Banny's gonna Uber here. He sees the demo man is sitting on main, so he Ubers really early, and he's gonna push down main, having killed off that demo man. He knows the point is is open. There's no sticky protection there. He tells his scout to get on. And you're going to see Cheddar Biscuits claim that cap. And that's just sort of Banny's game since 
uh, realizing that if he could kill the demo man there, it's going to make it a lot harder for here for Beer to hold on to last. So even though the Uber wasn't th available to them as they pushed on to the last point, it already been used. He'd already done enough damage. He'd like chopped off a leg, and he was just able to push them over there and take another round for his team. Yeah, they're doing fairly well, and we are live with our third mid fight. Cheddar Biscuits is running straight away. A big bomb coming in from Ventos as well. But Cheddar Biscuits and Ventos are both the first frags on the board. So here for Beer coming in with a strong middle. Uh, they're pushing forwards now. Weasel Smack trying to pick up a frag of his own, but oh, well defended by Kentucky Nugget and Captain Lollipop there. Captain Lollipop does get picked off, but the man advantage is in favour of here for Beer. They should be able to push through this choke point and uh, get onto the rest of the team. The Ubers are up for both teams right now. Fades is trying to go forward but the rest of his team aren't quite backing him up he does get killed off by codex and this is just uh, a bit of miscommunication in his team perhaps and the red team are going to use this opportunity to push in they're going to find roman and wild kentucky nugget in house roman uses his uber charge banny's just got hold of his for a little bit he uses it a little bit later that's going to um, mean that the blue team here really have to try and get away as red have a few seconds at the end where blue won't be ubered and they will be to kill everybody Red are going to take control of the point here as Wild Kentucky Nugget goes down. But it's not all over for here for Beer. They only have one player less than the opposing team. They might be able to put up some kind of defense. And here we see Fades actually hitting himself in the face with the Boston Basher. That just builds up the Uber a little bit quicker. Nice play by him just to make sure that Roman is building up his Uber charge. And it's at the same level as Banny's. Yeah, obviously when you're building that, uh, what is it, like... Less than 95% of your maximum health, you build twice as fast. 85%. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, you get the point. Oh, someone's dropped in the server, actually. So it seems that here for beer are a man down. And in the lobby, Cheddar Biscuits managed to get in onto Roman, who hit him with the Uber saw. Managed to get his charge, but wasn't able to switch back to the medic gun in time to pop it off. So technically a drop there. Big plays coming out from cheddar biscuits doing work here for idiotic cookie gamers they're gonna be able to take control of the spire again they're currently two rounds up and there are 17 minutes 50 seconds left on the clock under the european rules we just play a time limit of 30 there's no halves and there is no hard win limit but there is a mercy rule if you get more than five rounds in the lead that the game will end in your favor but uh, right now no danger of that happening banny's team still need another three rounds to reach that and there is plenty of time on the clock and we've seen lots of potential from beer for beer but something they're doing again on last is that they're standing on that low ground side show and like uh, position and the height advantage is just such a, a key concept in TF2 whether you're playing on a pub or in a competitive game having the high ground is very powerful because there's a couple of projectile classes in the game that uh, are going to struggle to hit you if you're if you have the height advantage but also if you have the height advantage your shots become a lot easier to land because you're shooting rockets down uh, rather than trying to shoot them from the same level. You know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, I do. Those soldiers just love their high ground. And if while Kentucky Nugget and Mr. Shady were stood on top of uh, on top of these high points on Badlands last, as they have now done, they'll be able to rain down rockets, and they're much more difficult to hit from up there. Captain Lollipop's going to poke into main, and they're actually going to use their Uber Charge aggressively out from last. One of the scouts is going to try and go behind. He might get dealt with. He does by the pocket of uh, here for beer. But they've picked up three frags with that aggressive Uber charge. It's gone pretty well for them. Weasel Smack also goes down. And there's only two players alive here from Idiotic Cookie Gamers. Ducky, their pocket, gets obliterated. But Banny with the fadeaway kill onto Roman. He does go down for his troubles. But that just resets both of the Uber charges. So that uh, when they spawn, the Ubers are going to be equal. Nobody's going to get there as quicker than anybody else. Uh, but both teams here are just going to have to wait for their medics to come up because it's so difficult to move around the map as a soldier or a demo man without those heals. And uh, uh, they're just going to be resetting now. Some of the players from Blue really want to push out. They're not going to wait for Roman. Roman now moving into upper lobby. It's difficult to push this Spire on Badlands without some kind of real advantage some player advantage or an uber when the other team doesn't have one captain lollipops their demo man goes down as well this really should signal the move back to last from the blue team and they are they're playing it really smartly actually here um they're going to be able to go back to last and wait for the spawn of their demo man who is so important to defend badlands last 
Yeah, Mir's trying to go ham there in the lobby. Got one frag onto Cheddar Biscuits, the posing scout, then tried to get it onto the demo man, the Codex, but he had protection. And right now, again, we see here for Beard just sort of hemorrhaging players. They can't get anyone onto the point, and even though they still have Medic and Soldier alive, they can't block that point. And um, we're going to see another round claimed there for the North American continent by the idiotic Cookie Gamers. America! Uh, we're going to go to the fourth middle now, 3 0 here in favour of Team Banny, the team you voted to watch. And uh, hopefully he's delivering, but like they're still playing with these incredibly high pings. Like, imagine pouring a, a can of treacle on your mouse mat and playing like that. That's what it must be like. But they're uh, it's managing to do work here. And on this mid bite, you see the red team, Banny's team, playing quite defensive, just playing around him, looking for that, that free frag, that first aggressive player to come in from here for Beard that they can kill off. And they find that frag, they're going to find another one as Captain Lollipop uh, is joined in the spawn queue by Slim Shady. Fades, NL, and Wymere. But the position is just great there from Banny. He had his team surrounding him, good protection on the Medic. They're able to walk forward and just use those heals, and that's why Medic is just uh, the most powerful class in the game, because if you're in a fight and you're missing the shots, it doesn't matter if your Medic's healing you. You can just soak up so much damage. You're, you're just... Uh, you're being helped no end. It is literally a crutch for bad players. <laughs> Um, I think there's definitely something to be said here for here for beer and uh, great play without anybody mentoring them or without you know that the aid of a higher level player they're really able to put up a decent fight here you may have come in onto the balcony area and taking down Ventos they have oh and another frag there onto Ducky so that really might oh and another frag onto Cheddar Biscuits in main he's absolutely going wild so with only three players up from the red team this is the perfect opportunity for Roman and his team to push out Mr Shady comes onto the balcony they do spot Weasel Smack in that trash area and uh, he's just going to be backing off onto Stone Bridge where Codex is holding uh, the red team anticipating a push out here but. But Blue decide to let that opportunity pass. They're just content uh -oh. to hold. Their scouts are playing with fire here. Ymir and Fades and L dancing around there around that trash area. But Ymir's not going to be able to make it out. Got focused down by two scouts and the medic. That ain't fair. But that's the sort of situations you want to try and engineer. That's smart play right there. You don't take necessarily want to take the one-on-one. -on -one. You want to try and stack the fight in your favour. You want to have already won the fight before you take it like that. Where you just like totally outnumber your opponents and the scouts are pushing ahead here weasel doing a little bit of harassment on to last but sees that he can't make the play for the point he's going to regroup with his team but Ymir's respawns and he just refuses to be teamed he's going to storm forward there and kills off codex demo man and uh, that gives here for beer an option to try and push a little bit here uh, if they're feeling brave they could walk forward because they, they no longer have to fear the ski trap until uh, Codex gets back into the game, but you know, they seem confident in defense here. There's still 12 minutes left on the clock side, so I think they're gonna sit back and wait and see if they can get another wipe situation where we've seen uh, the idiotic co cookie gamers push and fail a couple of times already. And I think we're about to see another push. Whether or not they'll fail has yet to be decided. Ducky and Banny coming in that top left hand side. Weasel Smack jumps on the point, is killed by the stickies, but no! Cheddar Biscuits comes in straight afterwards. A really nice play there where you sack on the point to try and debt the stickies and then before the enemy Demoman can lay them down somebody else jumps on the point and uh, the score 4-0 it's getting in dire straits here for uh, here for beer for here uh, the name is so confusing because it, it's such a delicious rhyme I'm watching Captain <laughs> Lollipop as he rolls out onto this balcony area so that's a really nice rollout from him he's arrived on mid this position for a demo man you can do so much damage and get a lot of influence over the mid fight captain lollipop charging up those stickies to do damage onto ducky and weasel Smack. Oh! a big play in by ymir to take down ventias and then comes in behind to try and take down vanny mr shady finishes off that frag and uh, only three players alive and no heals on the board for idiotic cookie gamers they are backing out slowly uh, here for beer could potentially punish them if they went a little bit quicker but they're content just to pick up the mid fight wait for some of their players to respawn and they'll be in later Ymir though can't be tamed takes Codex down to 8 health are they going to be able to finish off the frag no he meets back up with Banny and he's going to be fully healed in no time it's interesting to note that uh, we've really 
Oh, Captain Lollipop's gonna sail away, and Roman pops off his Uber charge. Banny's nowhere near his because he died on the mid fight, and so this is a good opportunity for here for Beer to really get some damage done. Three players go down from the red team, and they're really able to pick up Spire and move forward here. This is gonna be a last push, possibly for here for beer are they going to be able to have a better success rate than bunny's team yeah i'm really looking forward to this next push but they're slightly hesitant i, th I think they're realizing that they're at uber disadvantage because uh, even though Banny did die as you mentioned ruman realizes that he's only just popped his charge he has to be behind in this uber race and even though I say mana advantage is probably the most important thing, you have to respect the Uber at the same time because if you let invulnerable players get on top of you, there's not much you can do, especially uh, your medic who can't like rocket jump out or sticky jump out or just double jump. You have to produce a incredible dodging Merlin style or surf out of there like a boss. But the, the easier option rather than to put yourself in that situation is just to position yourself smartly and uh, give yourself enough room to escape the threat rather than uh, just walk in there carefree, but oh, Rex is raining down sticks from behind. Nobody's watching that balcony again. Here for beer on the low ground, not paying attention to what was going on up above, and they've been forced. Luckily, their right click from Ruman was uh, quick enough, and he did save himself and his pocket. But uh, his team are slightly short handed here. They managed to even up. It's a four on four game as they push towards last. Banny has a charge. Heavy weapons guy coming out from Cheddar Biscuits. Trying to use the power of those spawns. Mr. Shady in on last. He's going to be able to cap it off. He's taken down the heavy. He took down the soldier. Combining together with his pocket. Great work by here for beer. And that's that we've seen as well. The heavy on defense. Heavy on defense is such a good off class. Because he's got so much health. When he's buffed by his medic. 450 health. I mean if you fire at him with all four rockets. You still can't take down a fully buffed heavy. So it's really difficult to take him down. Uh, they managed to take him down there by combining. In both of their soldiers together really nice team play and they're able to pick up the round 4-1 we've still got a game on our hands admirable yeah banning's trying to make his way up from the slip he decided to roll out through the valley there but he has uh, found himself with good cover here as he jumps around onto the train he's healing his uh, scouts here trying to encourage them to move forward and find frags but while Kentucky Nuggets coming in from behind Banny sees the threat and everybody turns around great communication clearly despite the high latency these players are suffering from they've managed to weather that storm on mid they're going to move forward here but Ymir's already waiting for them on the spire he's got his scattergun cocked and ready he's looking for a target Ducky jumps up He's getting buckshot in the back. Ymir's just dancing around here. He's being a menace. He's distracting them a little bit, but he isn't able to slow down this red tsunami as Banny continues to crack the whip, move his team forward here. They cat mid, they cat spire, and they have a huge uber advantage. Banny's going for the cheeky saw there onto Cat and Lollipop. He gets finished off by Ducky, but uh, this is a great passage of play if you're a fan of the idiotic cookie gamers. They're ready to go for last year. Big advantage situation, but they're two men down. It's going to be difficult there's players behind them they're being swarmed on the it could be a pincer here are oh, they gonna be able to cap in time Uber's fading they're stacking the point they're gonna get it but, oh, I feel here for beer could have had that one but he just stepped away from the point at the wrong moment there Sejo yeah and of course the rules here are the 30 minute time limit and five win difference so if uh if idiotic cookie gamers get another round before here for beer are able to and make the score six one they will win the map by the uh, the mercy rule the five win difference weasel smack running in through that shit house area that's what we call this little hut on badlands uh banny and the rest of his team streaming forwards across the point but they have lost two of their players i don't know whether here for beer really realize they're backing off when they shouldn't be giving them any respect uh, Captain Lollipop uh, down to some really weak health there. Mr. Shady trying to get onto Banny isn't quite able to. Captain Lollipop, Wild Kentucky Nugget, and Roman managed to make it out of that mid fight alive. Unfortunately, they drop Captain Lollipop, their demo man there. But the key player, Roman, stays alive and he's going to have his uber charge up even before Banny is. Oh, so, he's uh, being oh, unfortunately, he's disconnected from Wild Kentucky Nugget. They're not going to use their uber in that situation. The pocket is going to manage to get out. Wild Kentucky Nugget fighting in main doesn't m quite manage to pick up ducky there but is going to be able to get back to last to defend that yeah and you could see the decision making by ruman there he was like uh i see them coming from the flank i could uber here with my pocket but would be totally outnumbered so he just decided to run away and uh, sacrifice his teammates to hold on Live to, to fight uber charge. another day 
But look at the three down now. They still have that charge. They can buy time here just by Ubering and standing on the point. That'll get them eight seconds. Probably enough time for the spawns to come in. And you see that's exactly what Roman's trying to do now. But uh, as that Uber fades, you just see these vultures circling around them here. They're just ready to come down and claim another point here. Pick that carcass and that is going to be the mercy rule in effect here. That's a win difference of five. So idiotic cookie gamers will be your winners here in this round one game against here for beer but I mean they managed to take a round that's like that's like that scene in the 300 you know where he throws the spear and draws blood from the god Banny has <laughs> been cut open here we know he's beatable here for beer came close but not close enough side show absolutely it was a good showing by them and they managed to take it 25 minutes as well so it wasn't a roll so when we uh when we see teams that are absolutely mismatched, you can often see a game like this over in 15 minutes, something like that. So to take it 25 minutes, and uh, it was very backwards and forwards as well. They were able to to pick up a few mid fights. They had some last pushes as well, and as you say, they picked up a round. So they did fairly well here, here for beer. And I, I'm interested to see how they do in the rest of the tournament. They have got a bit of a disadvantage just through the fact that they don't have somebody with that uh, that prem that invite experience telling them what to do but they really uh, they really showed up to this match and i am so glad that we had some tf2 action admirable yeah i'm going to bring up the logs here you know and just see what other uh, story we can glean from the stats but i uh, i really the first game it was, was a long time coming i mean we went live 2 hours ago the only started casting that game about at least an hour after that due to the technical difficulties but we're so glad that you stayed with us here uh, on Team Fortress TV. Uh, Hildreth did suggest earlier that there mightn't be all three rounds of the group stage play tonight but we're going to endeavour to cast whatever games come come what may say so we're here till the bitter end I think. We absolutely are. Do you have the logs there? Can we, can we uh, weave a tail? with the, the, <laughs> the threads of yarn that are given to us by the logs. Yeah, well, I see uh, Suo posting up something in Mumble, but we'll talk about these logs first. I'm sure Suo has them up on stream. I put the link in Twitch and in Mumble there for you, Saichu. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with logs.tf, guys, it's another great free service uh, from the community, the European community, no less. Zub, uh, incredible player, but also a great con contributor bring in the stats that everyone loves. There's other services available, but this is the one we favour in Europe, and these logs are automatically uploaded through the magic of uh, TF True, another great plugin. There's just uh, so many things that make the competitive experience nice, and you can see your stats here, and you can sort of try and make a judgement about how well you played, or maybe uh, like where you fell down. Like Obviously, a big factor here is the fact that you can see in, in the, the sort of team summary that the red team, Banny's team, won five of the middles, whilst uh, here for beer only won two. And if you can win those mid fights, it automatically gives you a foot up in every round. Like it, it gives you uh, a significant advantage. It's not impossible to overturn losing the mid fight, but it, it changes the dynamic of the game for you if you're on the losing end of that the initial mid fight. Depends if your medic survives or not, etc. But you're automatically on the back foot, and that's going to be tough. Uh, for here for beer come back from I think Banny at least had given his team some sort of a plan on middle and they seem to execute pretty well uh, Saichu what do you see in these logs who stands out for you you know we saw uh, Mir seeming to uh, lay down a contest to be in the Prem next season on Scout who else were you impressed by I called it before the game. I'm impressed by the soldiers from here for beer. I think they they really shone in their team. Ymir was getting a lot of frags, but he was he was running into some situations where I thought he would have been better just staying staying alive. Perhaps everybody in the Twitch chat was going mental for Ymir, but just because everyone loves seeing people just run in and get those frags. But I was most impressed by uh, by Mr. Shady and Wild Kentucky Nugget. Just the way that they played together and played off each other was brilliant, and I think they. Uh, they should definitely uh, definitely keep it up with the soldier play because they got potential. Yeah, so uh, the news I was avoiding mentioning, uh, Sue pasted a link in there, and it turns out that this is on the ETF2L news page. I'm going to 
paste this one into the Twitch chat as well, so you can uh, share my tears. But they're saying that they decided to abandon round two and three of the group stages uh, until a later date, I yeah, guess. I th- yeah, I think abandon's a bit of a, an odd word to use. They're basically postponing them until a later date, until they've fixed the... Uh, until they fix the problems that they're having. So at the moment, any teams that are able to organize their round one games using their own server and send in the opponents the info, they're they're quite happy to do that, and the admins will facilitate that. Don't but, leave it, uh, guys, because we do actually have another game lined up. Because uh, they're uh, allowing people to play who have their own servers, so uh, Kratos is buddy for a team, and he has a game lined up for us. I'm not going to give you guys a chance to vote for which game. There is only one game we can watch, and we're going to watch it. But uh, do not abandon ship. They may have abandoned the tournament for today, but we're going to keep casting for at least one more game. Can I get a hell yes, I too? Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, going to be loving watching these round one games as they unfold. This uh, I'm not sure exactly when they're happening. I guess they were all scheduled to happen at the same time, but uh, these. These games happen in half an hour after the previous one, so it nicely lines up for us to watch another round one game now. And uh, do you have the info there for me? Do we have the infos, or are we going to be going live fairly fairly soon? What's the kind I of time have, scale we're uh, looking at here? I have some infos. I could set up a relay so that you know other people could watch too, but I do at least have the STV that we shouldn't share because otherwise, you know, DDoS, etc. But we can join that one in the time being. I'll talk to Kratos here, see if I can uh, hook something up for everyone else. Try and connect to that, what I just put in Mumble Sideshow. Tell me that it's working. Even if it's not? Or not, yeah. 